Hey guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. My name is Veronica. If you're new and I'm like a mommy lifestyle, mainly cleaning type of channel every once in a while. I throw like vlogs in every week. Um, so yeah, um, I have seen so many of my favorite like cleaning channels do these videos where they um, kind of go over what all products that they use, which is really helpful because I know that in my speed cleaning videos, a lot of it, sometimes you might not catch what I'm using and sometimes I don't always link it below. So now I'm just going to kind of go over everything I use, that way you guys can see it. That way next time you watch a cleaning video, you, you have an idea of what I'm probably using. So first off, I'm going to start with um, bathroom stuff. Now I've always used the um, Clorox like gel stuff for the toilet bowl, but I recently switched to this method. and. At first, I was kind of skeptical because, you know, the Clorox one is so, um, there's so much more concentrated. It feels like whenever you're putting it in the bowl, like, it's a lot thicker. Um, and this is way more watered, watery, I guess. I don't know that it's watered down. I won't say that. Uh, but it just felt really just, just more, it felt way more liquid, not as much of a gel as the other stuff. So I was a little skeptical, but it seems to be doing really well. So I kind of, I don't have any problems with it. I mean, it seems to work. So this is what I've been using. I don't love the smell, but is any like bathroom cleaners smell good? I mean, none that I've used. Not, no toilet bowl cleaner has ever smelled good to me. So if you know of any, let me know. <laughs> Um, next, I started using this um, Method bathroom cleaner. Um, this is for like, you know, the counters, the like tile, like inside your shower tubs, things like that. Um, but what I find really works on showers and shower scum is I honestly, I take a lemon and I cut it in half and I kind of squeeze the lemon juice onto the window and just use the lemon to actually wipe the glass down and it really helps. Like when I first found this, I started doing this like six months, maybe a year ago. And it does so much better than all these products. And a lot of times when you have to clean inside your shower, you have to get in there and you have to shut the doors and you start using all these different kind of chemicals and like you can't breathe. And when you get out and you move to another part of your house and you go back to that room, you're like, oh my gosh, this whole room smells like that. How was I in the shower? Like confined in this space with so much like smell. It's crazy. I don't even know if that made sense, but um, so yeah, I, I like this for the bathroom, um, but if you ever try, if you ever want to try using the lemon, I think you should, you should try it. It works really well and it cuts down in like elbow grease and like scrubbing stuff out. Um, let's see, what are we going to move on to next? I will do, um, I don't, okay, so I don't know if this is local or this is local to me, but the store that I get this from is local to me. I don't think that everybody has this. I know that everybody doesn't have the store that I'm talking about. But, I don't know about Wild Harvest. I don't know if that's a, like, nationwide thing or if it's just, like, you know, exclusive to my area. But this is a glass cleaner that I really like a lot. Um, for one, it's, like, a lot cheaper than Windex, but it works really well. Like, I was surprised. I got it because, I, the first time I got it, I just got it because it was cheaper than Windex and I was, like, on a budget. And then... The next time I went back, I'm just like, forget Windex. I'm going straight to this. This stuff works really well. Um, okay, let's do... So this is what I use for my stove top. Um, I never see any other options. <laughs> when I go to the store to buy anything for my stove, like to clean my stove top, I never see any other options. So I will say that this works good, but I also have nothing to compare it to. So, yeah, I guess I'll give this a thumbs up because I really, I really have nothing to compare it to. I've, I've never went into like our grocery store or even maybe I guess if I went and looked at like Lowe's or Home Depot or something, they might have more options, but I'm just never there. And when I am there, I don't think about stove cleaners. I think about like wood or paint or stuff like that, you know. So that's what I use for my stove tops. Um... So I was using this Miss My. I, this is almost actually empty, but I was using this Miss Myers cleaning, um, our all-purpose cleaner for such a long time. Um, I love the scent. It reminds me of a very. 
it reminds me of the beach. It reminds me of like the beachy kind of smell. It's very fresh, very, I, I don't know how to describe it. I don't know, very, I like it. I like it a lot. Um, but the last time I went to the store, the store I went to didn't, wasn't carrying Miss Meyers products. So I decided to go back to Method, which I had used Method for such a long time. Sorry, the sun's playing peekaboo. Or I guess the sun went behind the clouds if you're not a mom. <laughs> um, anyways, I, I was running out of this. And so while I was at the store, I'm like, okay, well, I have to get something. So I went back to Method. And Method, I had always used the, the pink grapefruit kind. Um, but while I was at the store this last time, um, it was around the time when my kids were all sick and I saw this kind and it said that it was antibacterial. So of course I was just like, oh yeah, I'll get it. Um, so this is what I've been using is bamboo, I think is what it's, I hope that's focusing. I have terrible vision, so I have no idea if that focused or not. Um, the smell of this, oh gosh. I love the smell of this stuff so much. I could probably talk about the smell of this stuff for entirely too long. And it's crazy because like who talks about how much they love the smell of a cleaning product. It smells very important to me. Um, anyways, this smells like, okay, if I think back to like 6th or 7th grade when for, that was 6th or 7th grade for me, but when, when Abercrombie came out with like this scent, it was very like woodsy and wood chippy and masculine, but females could wear it too. Like it was such, the scent, it was so good. That's what this smells like to me. Like it's very woodsy and I'm not that type of smell kind of person. I really don't like that. I liked really light, like floral scents. Um, so this is totally like opposite of that, but it smells so good. The only thing I will say though is I wish the smell of the Method cleaners lasted as long as the Miss Meyer. Miss Meyer, like if I clean my table, like say I clean it before my kids get home at like 2 o'clock. And then by the time we eat dinner, which we have dinner pretty late, we normally have dinner around 6.30 or 7, I can still smell it on the table. This stuff, like... After you spray and clean with it, it'll stick, it'll stay around for probably like 20 or 30 minutes and I don't smell it anymore. But I wish I did. I really do. It smells so good. I don't think this smell is going to be like for everyone, but it smells good. Um, the last, oh no, this is not the last thing. Okay, I also use these, Clorox wipes. Everybody has these. Like everybody has their own brand. I know that I've used Target's brand before. I've used seventh generation brand before, but I some for some reason always come back to Clorox. And I think I feel like Clorox, like it's it's a mental thing. I honestly feel like Clorox disinfects. I don't know what it is. So when when I'm cleaning my house up every week, like I'll go through and wipe all the remotes with these, the door handles, the light switches, everything in my house gets cleaned with this. Um, I don't know why I feel that way, but that just always always come back to Clorox. Okay, and lastly, um, I haven't done a updated laundry routine in a while, which I think I need to because you guys really liked the last one that I did. Um, but in the last one, I said that I only liked the downy beads, that I didn't like the um, liquid, and the liquid that I had tried was like the purple kind. I don't know what the scent is. I'm sorry. I can't remember what the scent is. But I didn't feel like I could smell it on my clothes after I had washed them or maybe not as prominent as the beads. However, I recently got this kind of downy, the liquid. This is the um, Amber Blossom. Oh, guys. This stuff smells so good. Um, for one, the smell lasts forever. Like, for instance, this shirt's been in my closet for probably a few weeks now. I haven't worn it in a few weeks, and I can still smell the downy on it. Um, our towels, I noticed a dramatic difference when I started using the liquid on our towels. They feel so much more soft, and you know how towels can sometimes, like, whenever you get them wet after they had already been washed, they have, like, almost a funky smell to them. Even if you didn't leave them, or maybe I have... Maybe I could have left them in the washer too long. I don't know. But I feel like 
there's sometimes there's a smell that just kind of lingers around towels even if you pull them out of the dryer and they smell fresh there's still sometimes like a little bit of a smell and you don't smell it until it gets wet from like your hair your body or whatever when I started using this on our towels they smell so good and they're so just soft to the touch even this shirt like I've had the shirt for years like I want to say at least six or seven years maybe eight I don't know and it never felt as soft and comfortable as it does now and I owe it all to Downey no but seriously this stuff smells so good it smells very almost high-end to me it doesn't smell like just because I've always just used Tide with Downy, and then like I would just throw in a little bit of extra Downy here and there but I recently started trying this stuff and it smells like I love using this on our bedding because it really like the scent really lasts on our bedding as well so um, yeah that's the last thing I have on my list but if I had a I mean I can't even pick just one thing to recommend to you guys out of all of these these are these are like some of my favorite products I would say definitely I like if I could if I could hold all these up these are these are my three faves right now. I really, I'm really enjoying these scents. Um, I, I really wish that, I kind of wish that Method made a candle that smelled like this. Like, I, I can't stress to you guys enough that I am not the woodsy, masculine type of smelling person. Like, I typically don't like those smells. Like, like the thought of like tobacco or, or just like, woodsy smells in general I just don't like them but this smells so good it smells so good it yeah it just it just reminds me of ha, um air pop not air pop not Hollister Abercrombie's Abercrombie's scent that they used to have I don't know if you remember that or even Hollister do you guys remember the Hollister scent like every time you'd walk past the store you would just get bombarded with the smell it would just hate you like a ton of bricks and how it kind of smelled woodsy I, I guess that's the way to describe that smell too. I don't know. It's just good. So anyways, I've really talked enough about smells. So I'm going to end this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more, please go ahead and subscribe. I would love to have you. Um, I, I do tons of organization videos and cleaning videos. So if you're into that kind of thing, just go ahead and subscribe and you'll see more of them. All right, bye guys. Thanks.